Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Linux is renowned for its diversity, array of distributions, each with its own unique focus, philosophy and user base. Two of the most prominent distributions, Debian and Arch Linux, are like polar opposites in the Linux universe. Despite their apparent differences, they share a common ground. In this in-depth comparison, we're diving deep to explore every facet. And now, let's get it started. Debian stands as one of the oldest and most revered Linux distributions, tracing its root back to 1993 when Ian Murdoch laid its foundation. Over the years, Debian has granted a reputation for its unwavering commitment to stability, reliability and the principles of free software. Let's check the key features of Debian. Stability. Debian is renowned for its rock-solid stability, making it a preferred choice for critical systems. Each release undergoes a rigorous testing before earning the stable tech, ensuring a dependable platform. Diversity. Debian boasts support for a wide range of hardware architectures accommodating everything from 64-bit architecture to cutting-edge ARM devices. Package selection. With a vast repository of software packages, Debian caters to virtually every imaginable need, from server applications to desktop utilities and multimedia tools. Community Debian thrives to its vibrant community, comprising developers, users and advocates united in a passion for free software. The Debian community plays a pivotal role in shaping and maintaining the distribution. Free software Debian's unwavering commitment to free software is integrated in its core. All software in its main repository adheres to the Debian free software guidelines, fostering a culture of openness and collaboration. Let's have a look at the advantages and disadvantages of Debian. Advantages Unrivaled stability and reliability Extensive hardware support Diverse package ecosystem Active and supportive community Strong advocacy for free software. Let's check the disadvantages. May lag behind in terms of offering the latest software versions. Some users may face a learning curve due to its comprehensive nature. Let's come to Arch Linux. In stark contrast to Debian's conservative nature, Arch Linux embraces a rolling release model emphasizing simplicity, minimalism and user-driven customization. Born in 2002 under the stewardship of Judd Winnett, Arch has emerged as a playground for enthusiasts seeking unparalleled control over the Linux experience. Let's check the key features of Arch Linux. Rolling release. Arch Linux adopts a rolling release model ensuring users have access to the latest software updates without waiting for periodic releases. Minimalism. Arch Linux starts with a minimal installation, allowing users to build their own system from ground up according to their preferences and requirements. Pacman Package Manager Pacman, the package manager of Arch Linux, offers a streamlined and efficient way to manage software packages, enabling users to install updates and removing packages with ease. Arch User Repository AUR. The AUR serves as a vast repository of user contributed packages, expanding the software ecosystem beyond what's available in the official Arch repositories. Documentation Arch Linux boasts comprehensive documentation in the form of the Arch Wiki, serving as a treasure trove of knowledge for users at all skill levels. But as always, there are advantages and disadvantages, of course, also of Arch Linux. Let's check the advantages. Access to the latest software version through rolling releases. Unparalleled flexibility and customization options. Efficient package management with Pacman. Extensive software repository via the AUR. Rich and well-maintained documentation on the Arch Wiki. Let's check the disadvantages. Steeper learning curve, particularly for newcomers. Requires proactive maintenance due to rolling release updates. May demand more time and effort for day-to-day -day upkeep. Potential stability concerns compared to Debian's conservative approach. Let's talk about the audience and use cases. The choice between Debian and Arch Linux hinges on individual needs, preferences and technical aptitude. 
Debian is ideal for users prioritizing stability, reliability, and vast selection of pre-tested software packages, well suited for servers, desktops, and environments where predictability and longevity are paramount. Arch is tailored for users craving maximum control, customization, and access to bleeding edge software, appeals to advanced users, enthusiasts, and developers seeking a hands-on Linux experience. Let's come slowly but surely to some kind of conclusion. Debian and Arch Linux epitomize contrasting approaches to Linux distribution design and management. Debian offers rock-solid stability and a co-rated package ecosystem, while Arch Linux empowers users with unparalleled flexibility and up-to-date software. While their paths diverge, Debian and Arch Linux converge on the ethos of adaptability. Both distributions embody the spirit of community-driven development, welcoming users to participate in shaping the Linux landscape. Overall, the choice between Debian and Arch Linux is a personal one, reflecting the unique preferences and objective of each user. Whether opting of Debian's dreadfast reliability or Arch Linux dynamic customizability, Linux enthusiasts find themselves in a world of limitless possibilities. And you? Are you Team Debian or Team Arch? When in doubt, I am Team Debian. I appreciate the stability and conservative approach, but I can also understand if someone sees it differently and decides otherwise. So, now we need your opinion. Feel free to write them in the comments and then let's discuss. If you are interested in Linux content, feel free to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up if you like and activate the bell for instant updates. So, that's it for today. Thank you for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. See you next time. Keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep embracing the Linux spirit. And as we all know, the best is safe for the last. In the end card, you'll find the links to my test of Debian 12 Bookworm and to my latest test of Arch Linux on the other hand. Have a look at them to get an overview of these two top community-driven distros. Peace.